The cost of living in Nigeria is spiraling out of control. Prices of food and other consumables have soared more than 100% and have become out of reach for average Nigerian, resulting in a wave of protests across the country in recent times. The country's currency is not left out. The Naira has been witnessing a free fall, $1 exchanging for as much as $1,500 worsening the already fragile economy of the country. Last week, there were protests in different states in Nigeria because people were angry, hungry about how expensive things were becoming. The cost of living is going up. People's salaries ain't increasing as much. This is making it hard for families in five Nigerian states. Buyers and sellers are arguing over the prices of food. Some customers leave without buying anything hoping to find better prices elsewhere. Others spend their money wondering if what they bought was worth it. The rising prices are affecting everyday Nigerians a lot. Even poor people and rich people are struggling to afford things because everything is getting so expensive. Just a couple of weeks ago, people in Mina, the capital of Niger State in North Central Nigeria, protested hoping things would get better. The government is blaming food speculators for making things worse by buying food from local markets, which is causing prices to go up. In Mina, Nigeria, things used to be better, but now people feel like their money doesn't go as far. No matter how much money they have, it doesn't last long because things are so expensive. For example, a bag of rice costs 18 and a bag of beans costs 16. This is eating the poor the hardest. The people in North Central Kano states are also protesting because the economic difficulties in Enugu market in Fago prices are high like 3,500 3, naira for rice and 2 to 300 naira for tomatoes. This makes it hard for buyers in Aqua, the capital of Anambra state, a popular market. Prices are also high like 10,000 naira for a bag of rice. In, the, in this area too, residents are feeling the strain of high food prices before price were around 700 but now they've jumped up to 2000 even 3000 this is like a whopping 600 percent increase people are frustrated and overwhelmed by the expense they feel like it's just too much for example frozen food that used to cost 28,000 now go old as far as 47 in the market in new york the capital of aqua Ibom state Food prices remain high. It's hard for residents, especially when they have to explain to clients why cost of cooking has gone up. Even basic items like tomatoes are expensive. With a bag costing 35,000 naira, the transport costs add to the bonding. At the M International Market, the largest food market in West Africa, prices have soared too much. Previously, a bag of maize was 200 naira, but now it's 900. A bag of beans that was 700 naira is now 1,200. The bag I am saying is the essence is not a big bag. It's those portable mini bags I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the regular 50 kg bags. The prices are so bad. The situation is becoming increasingly difficult for ordinary people to cope with. Before a woman could buy enough food for 15 to 25 days, but now she has to buy food for frequently every two or three days and the prices keep going up even within a week. The rising trend in food prices is alarming. For instance, the cost of cooking a pot of jollof rice has increased significantly for 4,000 naira in July 2026 to 13,000 naira in September 2023 marking a 22.7 increase this means that even a person earning the minimum wage of 30,000 naira would spend almost half of their income on just one meal between september 2023 and february 2024 the prices of food items are expected to keep rising weekly data from the national bureau of statistics reveal a steady increase in prices in january 2023 boneless beef was sold at 2,418 naira per kilo, but by September it was 
2816 naira per kilo similarly the average price of rice rose from 430 naira per kilo in january 2022 to 757 naira per kilo in september 2023 brown beans also saw an increase from 498 naira per kilo to 716 naira per kilo in september 2023 onions followed the same pattern going from 368 naira per kilo to 515 naira per kilo in the space of january to september 2023 putting a significant strain on household making it harder for them to afford necessities similarly the price of vegetable oil has gone up in september 2023 one liter of oil was sold for 1400 naira compared to 1183 naira in january 2023 and 920 in january 2022 the average price of yam per kilo rose from 593 naira in september to 409 naira in september 2022 in the space of one year in january 2023 with just 17 naira you could buy smaller size of noodles but now you need at least 200 naira for the same size the cost of an egg has also increased from 50 naira in January 2022 to 150 naira and sometimes even 20, 200 naira now. Nigeria's high cost of living is a complex issue driven by various factors. Key players in this food supply chain are concerned about the inflation. Farmers sell their produce at the farm gates or nearby markets. But middlemen who transport these goods to urban areas like Abuja are blamed for causing inflation. Transportation costs have significantly increased. For instance, trucks that used to cost around 300,000 to 500,000 naira to transport goods from the north to the south now cost over a million naira. Additionally, the price of diesel which powers most of these vehicles have risen from 290 naira to 1300 naira over the past four years these factors contribute to overall rise in food prices making it increasingly difficult for people to afford necessity the situation is there and experts warn that if the major increase in cost of basic needs like food are not arrested addressed there could be serious consequences we may see a rise in health issues such as high blood pressure especially among young people as well as mental health issues like depression anxiety and extreme cases suicide there is also an increase in case of domestic abuse violence often linked to financial stress nigerians are pressuring the government for solutions the Niger state government has taken action by implementing measures to stop price gouging in community markets. They are ensuring that farmers' produce is not ordered or sold at inflated prices. Additionally, the federal government is making effort to lessen the bonding on Nigerians, although specific measures are not detailed in the text of law. Urgent action is needed to address the rising cost of living and ensure the well-being of population. The Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security has instructed to release around 42,000 metric tons of maize, millet and other commodities from their strategic reserve. The aim is to make these items available to Nigerians so that we can feed ourselves better Additionally, there are plans to cultivate more farmland to make Nigeria a net exporter of food. However, there are concerns about the government's ability to follow through on these promises. Given past instances of unfulfilled, unfulfilled commitments, there is also a need to address the supply side of the equation. Rather than solely focusing on demand, the Federal High Court in Lagos has given the government a deadline to regulate the prices of essential goods, petroleum products, the Federal Competition and the Consumer Protection Commission has blamed shady players along the value chain for ordering, manipulating and inflating prices. They promise to work with all stakeholders to come up with measures to control excessive prices of commodities in the market. Many doubt that the government can effectively 
even me, implement price controls as it's contradictory to both allow market forces to determine prices and fix them at the same time. This could lead to accusation of unfair practices and even calls for governments to directly sell goods to prevent a collapse of society. Some suggest engaging with sectional chairman representing various food items to ensure fair pricing without accusation of price manipulation. Key players emphasize the need for short, medium, and long-term measures. This includes increasing local food production through planting and promoting import substitution, stabilizing prices, clearing bushes used by criminals for farming, investing in power, mechanization, cold storage, and distribution. There is also a call to address consumption patterns, as many Nigerians are skipping meals due to financial difficulties. Ultimately, it's hoped that with concerted efforts, the situation will improve soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments below, and do not forget to subscribe. Until next time, stay cool.